We're less than 24 hours away from the total solar eclipse. For those of you who don't have eclipse glasses, you can still see the sun's reflection by using items you may already have at home. And for those of you planning to capture the event on your smartphones, there is a safe way to do so. 12 News reporter Kayla Chote spoke with meteorologist Carrie Cooper and the former president of the Astronomical Society of Southeast Texas to learn how you can safely film the eclipse. Kayla. Claydra, Carrie Cooper says the sun is actually a thousand times brighter than a 100 watt light bulb. So if you want to capture the moment the sun and the moon completely overlap, it's necessary to protect your smartphone from the sun's bright rays. The sun in our solar system has powerful rays that are extremely bright. That's why you've got to have the protection uh, to protect your eyes. The sun will do a lot of damage to the retina, cornea, and it could be some long-term damage and permanent damage, unfortunately. That's why wearing eclipse-safe glasses with an ISO number is so important. They block out 99.9% of the light coming from the sun. So that 0.1% is all you're getting, and that's uh, just enough for you to see it and also to view it safely. If you can't find any eclipse safe glasses, you can view the eclipse shadow using the projection method. All you need is a vegetable strainer. Take that out and kind of hold it and let the sunlight run through it. And as the shadows come out on the other side, there'll be tiny little crescent suns everywhere those shadows are, are sort of on the ground. Don't have any items? You can also take your fingers and do something like this. And if you get it just right on the ground, you can, you can see little crescent suns on the ground. You can stand near a tree and do the same sort of thing as the sunlight's coming through on the ground. You can see the shadows of the leaves and in between those is a bunch of little crescent suns. And you can capture the shadows. Take those, uh, those shadow pictures on the ground, get that colander and get those things, get those shots too, because that's a, fa a fascinating way to see it. It's also necessary to protect your phone's camera lens. First, cover your camera's lenses with an extra pair of Eclipse glasses. Behind the filter paper or the filter screen, and then point it at the sun. So the best way to probably do that is to get your phone on a tripod. Or tape on the glasses lenses to take a video so you don't fry your camera lenses. At no point during the eclipse from Beaumont is it safe to remove that filter off your phone or your camera. At no point. Not even during totality because you're. it's not going to be enough Remember, a picture can last a lifetime, so if you don't want to miss the eclipse and you want the photos to come out clear and not blurry, tomorrow astronomers suggest not zooming in too closely on the sun to get the clearest picture possible. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News. Thank you for